Welcome back everyone and prepare to be bedazzled because today I'm going to be commencing my review of the Marvel Legends Blue Marvel action figure. Is this action figure a paragon of resounding perfection or should it be relegated to the dumpster or is it characterized by insipid unalloyed mediocrity in the form of a quantitative scarf after Raylan to be a 2 out of 10? Is he a meritorious, stupendous, extraordinary, impeccable action figure? Lamentably, much of my dismay, much of my consternation, much of my chagrin, much of my agony, much of my distress, he commands a steep, staggering, hefty, exorbitant, and lofty premium price of $25 plus sales tax, which is unequivocally a cost-prohibitive price point for the avid, devout, avowed, Marvel fan and aqueous to paying. I have to utilize an 8 October's Marvel Legends action figure as a benchmark for comparison of value. I just cannot vindicate. I just cannot justify. I just cannot warrant. I cannot merit conceding to paying $25 plus t sales tax for this Blue Marvel action figure, especially when I take heed of the fact that the Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figures that possessed superior sculpts, superior details, superior articulation, superior aesthetics, superior textures, retailed for $8 plus sales tax, and came bundled with a comic book, as well as an additional item, such as a Build-A-Figure piece for a meticulously detailed behemoth of a 14 to 16 inch Build-A-Figure. In some contexts, certain Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figures did not come bundled with a Build-A-Figure, however they more than made up for it, such as by including another action figure in the packaging, such as Dupe was Deadpool or Howard the Duck was the Silver Surfer, or by including a sizable diorama piece with the figure. There was so much value consolidated into the packaging when you relinquish $8 plus sales tax to buy a Tobias Marvel Legends action figure. So as per the comparison of value, I have to make an assessment and subsequently determine whether or not this action figure warrants its asking price of $25 plus sales tax. Does this action figure supersede the value that the Deadpool, Dupe, Juggernaut, Maestro action figures offered as an aggregate? Does he offer far more value than those four action figures in tandem with three comic books in conjunction with a diorama piece? Lamentably, he does not. This action figure's sculpt, detail, shadings, textures, aesthetics are mediocre at best. He doesn't have as, as much latitude for dynamic posability when contrasted to an 8 dollars Topaz Marvel Legends action figure that was sporting 32 to 40 points of articulation. This blue Marvel action figure may have around 22 to 24 points of articulation, possibly more, but not by much. He does come with two sets of hands, including the ones he's wielding. He does have fisted hands. That's a redeeming quality. He does have two energy blast effects. That's also a redeeming quality. He does have a build a figure piece wedged into his package, and that's also another redeeming quality. But there's just not enough value consolidated into the packaging for me to acquiesce to buying the figure for $25 plus sales tax. Now, if this figure were $5 plus sales tax, I'd more than likely be amenable to buying him. But for $25 plus sales tax is a foregone opportunity on my end. Is it dream miss of Hasbro to omit finger joint articulation? Well, I think it detracts from the value of their figures when they lack finger joint articulation and do not come bundled with fisted hands. Fortunately, in this context, this action figure does have at least one set of fisted hands so he can pummel his adversaries to death and he can trounce them and subdue them with ease. I do not know how potent his attacks are. I do not know how deleterious his attacks are in melee combat. I'm assuming he can discharge energy blasts or um, infuse energy into his hands. I'm not well acclimated with the character. I do not know anything about him, and um, I'm curious what his lore entails. I do love his solemn, stern expression. He looks like he's poised for battle, but even if he's a battle-hardened warrior, for $25 plus sales tax, it is a forgotten purchase on my end.
So I'll just abstain, desist, and refrain from buying him. And um, lamentably, my final verdict in terms of my final review score appertaining to this figure is going to be 2 out of 10 because he just does not offer comparable value to an 8 R Togas Marvel Legends action figure, let alone three or four of them as an aggregate with their comic books and other items, such as a diorama piece in the context of the Juggernaut, or a build-a-figure piece for Apocalypse in the context of Maestro, or an action figure of dupe as well as a slew of armaments in the context of Deadpool. So. I would have preferred if he had finger joint articulation and if he came bundled with additional figures as well as additional build of figure pieces as well as more accessories and more items that they could wedge into the package and the merrier. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.